Hello everybody, this is Jeremy Mateo within the DAW. Welcome back. Today's video is going to be a really quick and easy one. I'm going to show you how you can utilize Superior Drummer 3 and its tracker function to actually create MIDI triggers to trigger samples from Superior Drummer 3. Now, this is essentially utilizing the audio to MIDI function and is very, very powerful if you're sent tracks that don't exactly sound great. So in this case, let's listen to the drum kit that I want to change something out of. This is a track that was sent to me by my cousin, Steve Bonilla, and uh, this was obviously a sampled kit, and I just felt like the kick drum had a little bit too little to it. So let's bypass everything and listen to the drum kit by itself. So as you can kind of hear from that, hopefully, it has a very interesting vibe to it. Um, I'm not very happy with this kick drum whatsoever. And even after doing some processing, it feels really weird because I have to gate it out, add some synthetic low end, and then do some EQ. And overall, I felt like it was doing way too much work for something that wasn't really recorded or wasn't even sampled to be very good. I'm also hearing lots of weird double hits. Like right there especially. It almost sounds like the notes are bleeding into themselves. And you can also hear the kind of bloom of the low end is really weird. So that would require transient shaping, gating, adding low end, then doing some EQ and some compression. Kind of a lot of work for something that doesn't really sound good. So all we have to do is grab Severe Drummer 3, choose a kit that we like. By default, I always use the Death and Darkness Metallic Black kit. We go into the tracker section and we simply grab the tracks. So these tracks are right here. We have the clap hi-hat and kick drum. We drag it down and Superior Drummer is going to automatically determine what things are. And this is based off of what you have in your kit. So because I don't have a clap, the clap is going to be turned into a snare drum. The hi-hats are going to be hi-hats and the kick drum is going to be a kick drum. So let's solo up the kick drum and just take a quick look and listen. That's the real kick. This is the Superior Drummer Blend. Now we can use this mix knob to get more or less of the sound. But personally, I was not feeling that whatsoever. Now I can remove these tracks that we don't need, which I just did earlier to the hi-hat. But you can also use these extra tracks if you have a real kit to be able to actually get rid of bleed. So you simply click right here where it says reduce bleed. You hit OK and you turn this knob up. This is going to get rid of false positive triggers. But in this case, it's a triggered sample. So we don't have to worry about that. I'm going to hit remove. Do export and we can either do all tracks combined. So if we did do the kick, snare and hi-hat, it would be all of them combined. In this case, I just want the drum kick. So we're going to remove this, drag this down, and we can get out of it. Now, Superior Drummer is going to trigger these kicks however I want it. And if I want to have more control over it, I could easily just drag it into my session and have it play back from my DAW. Pretty simple, pretty easy, right? So the next step is we could simply just mix this. So I've already done this in this case right here and check out how it sounds. Versus the original kick. The new one. A lot less work needed and I can even get rid of the tone generator and it sounds really good actually so now I can just simply put this into the mix and bypass the old kick drum and as you can hear we don't get that weird artifact of two cheap triggers sampling at the same time and kind of just overlapping 
So Pear Drummer does a really good job of kind of using round robins and chokes to make it sound like how a real kick drum would be hit if it was hit multiple times in a row. You can really hear it right here. That's two distinct hits versus this. You can kind of hear like this weird double trigger even though it doesn't show a double trigger. So Superior Drummer, much better in my opinion. And honestly, we managed to get a pretty good sound using this kick drum versus the weird paper kick drum. Anyway, that's it for this video. I just wanted to give you a quick demonstration on how to utilize audio to MIDI instead of Superior Drummer 3. If you like this video, consider giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. And remember to check out our website in the DAW.com where we have some free impulse responses and some free Helix presets. And we are currently in the works of putting up some free presets for Superior Drummer 3 because we love Superior Drummer 3 a ton. And that's it for this video. This is Jerry Mateo within the DAW. I will see you guys next time.